If you're a realtor out there that produces newsletters on a monthly or quarterly basis, you're going to want to stick around with this video. I'm going to show you a way to grow your email list and also to be able to distribute your newsletter out in a more efficient way using ManyChat's chatbot capabilities. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create the flow to get the permission for the sign-up of the newsletter and how the bot's going to get email and phone numbers to zap over to your CRM so that you can now start distributing these leads not only on your CRM side but let the bot push it out. I had a video on the channel earlier this year where I showed that there's a partnership with Meta and ManyChat where now we're able to send out messages outside the 24-hour rule. So as Smarty the Realtor in Philly, I plan in 2023 to get a lot of opt-ins through the bot and then be able to distribute my market reports, my newsletters, and my eBooks all through the chat bot. So let's hop into ManyChat and let me show you how to create a very nice flow to get the permission you need in order to deliver the newsletter. Okay, over here on ManyChat, I'm gonna show you how to create the newsletter flow to get the permission and get the phone numbers and emails that you can then zap it over to your CRM and get the bot ready to distribute this newsletter throughout the year through the opt-in permission. I'll also show you my flow that I use and create to do a JSON ad to uh, tie this newsletter flow to a Facebook and Instagram ad so I can get more and more subscribers through the newsletter just through advertising people signing up for my newsletter. So you want to grow your list and let the bot do the work. So inside my uh, ManyChat account, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, right, you're, what you're seeing in here is a folder structure. So I have my marketing folder. This is part of my ProEdge chatbot for real estate. I'm super excited. Uh, this week is my launch week. I have version seven out, which has AI and chatbot GBT built into it. So my clients are really, really excited about this release. Uh, the way that I organize my flows is just a helpful tint, uh, tip in uh, chatbot marketing is use folders. You can create folders right here. I create folders for all my different marketing plays that my chatbot supports. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on newsletter and we'll just stay in the newsletter folder for this video. So uh, in the newsletter, uh, I'm going to open this guy up and I'm going to hit edit. Now, when this comes up, it may look a little intimidating. You'll see two different paths here. Uh, my my chatbot is bilingual. It speaks Spanish and English. Um, so that's why you're seeing a, a different pass going on in my flow. But you can keep it real simple. Keep everything in English if you're doing chatbot marketing. So uh, the first step you're going to do from the starting step is uh, you're going to have an introduction. So I say, thank you for your interest in our monthly newsletter, real estate newsletter. I always let them know, hey, P.S., if you ever want to unsubscribe, just type stop. So that way they're, no, they're not going to be bothered if they don't want to. I take advantage of uh, actions in ManyChat. ManyChat has lots of actions you could do in the flows. Uh, what I'm using is an add tag action. You could also remove tags, subscribe to sequences, set custom fields. I do that quite often. You'll see that in some of my flow design here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm tagging newsletter as, as the tag when they first come in. And then I may have a subscribe action at the back of the flow to say they, they actually subscribe. So they were interested in the newsletter and did they actually subscribe? So I can measure that in my, in my um, marketing. Now, this is where I do a little intro. So inside of ManyChat, it's really cool. You can come in and uh, you can do all different types of things. What I'm using is a, a, a I'm sorry, an image and then a, a text box here, these two here on this flow. So uh, I have a picture of uh, my newsletter, just a, you know, a, an image. And then I talk about, hey, latest uh, news tips and analysis straight to your inbox. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to ask for permission. So after I tell them about the newsletter, I say we publish a monthly newsletter uh, to provide updates and tips in the housing market. Would you like these updates? So what this particular flow is doing is it has two different buttons. You add buttons right here. I have a sure thing and a no thanks. Now here's a, a, a little uh, smarty tip. Uh, one of my ninja secrets that I use in my bot designs is I use double negatives and stuff and, and stuff. So instead of just having one button, yes, and, and whether they click it or not, they may stop. But them seeing a no thanks is they're going to explicitly on the bot say no thanks. What I do for the no thanks is I don't lose that as an, uh, lose that as an opportunity to still engage. 
Um, I have a technique where I say not ready, and then I throw them right into my digital business card. And the business card's gonna say, hey, maybe you're not ready right now, but it's really nice to meet you. Here's, and it has a picture of Smarty, myself, and my contact information, then other actions that they can activate uh, right inside of the message. So I get people that reach out to me six months, eight months later when they weren't uh, interested right at this point. But now that I've passed my business card to them through the chatbot, They'll click on that, they'll remember me, they'll go back to Messenger, they'll click on my action, and now I'm re-engaging them many, many months later. In fact, I just picked up a listing this morning um, simply by doing this ninja trick. Uh, the woman, I, she started talking to my bot, I was looking at the history, and she came in into the bot back in September. Um, what you see here is, uh, you know, now this is the, the opt-in and asking for permission. So I say, great, just click get messages below to sign up. So I want to give them explicit instructions so they know what to do. So down in here, this is, the, you, you can't control this, the stuff in the light gray. It'll say, we'll send you up to one message per month on this topic if you opt in at any time. So uh, if I click on this and show you what it is, I had a, a video on my channel and I'll put a link up here uh, earlier this year um, where I showed how to set up these um, uh, advanced messages. So now we're broken outside the 24 hour rule. We could send messages out weekly, monthly, uh, annual messages and stuff. So as I plan on using it in 2023 and what my chatbot does here, the ProEdge chatbot, um, is I have eBooks, I have market reports, I have newsletters, I have just uh, coming soon listings that I may send out through the bot. And all those are gonna use the new topic capability inside of ManyChat. So I have a new buyer list, newsletters, market reports in my drop down. So that's why it's saying we're gonna send one message per month um, because that's how I set up my newsletter flow. So with the uh, real estate newsletter, they can expect to get a message each and every month in 2023 from Smarty to Realtor with my newsletter, get them anxious. And at the end of the year, it, uh, Facebook and, and ManyChat will do the job of messaging them, hey, your subscription's about to expire. Would you like to opt in for another year of, of, of newsletters? So uh, that's all maintained. So what I do then is I tag them newsletters opt in so I know what's going on. And then I start down this path. Now, before I do that, I always use this technique as well. Inside of ManyChat, if you go to the plus sign here and go down to smart delay, um, what I'll do is if I, I'm hoping when they get to this, this is where the message stops essentially. So the bot will not talk anymore until they take action on this monthly opt-in. So uh, the, if they don't do anything, um, you know, they could just walk away. Maybe the baby's crying or they got called away or took, an a, phone, took a phone call. All those distractions, they may stop. But if they come back here and say, get message, then they're going to be uh, more dialogue is going to happen with the chat bot. But at the next step down here, I'm using what's called a smart delay. And then um, I use a condition in ManyChat that says if tag uh, is newsletter opt-in. So when you come up here, you could you know set all kinds of conditions like did they opt-in? Is a certain field a certain value? Very powerful capability. In fact, I may do a, a separate video just on the condition task inside of ManyChat because it's so powerful to use when you're doing more advanced chatbot marketing. So in this case, I'm just saying if, if the tag is newsletter opt-in and up here you'll see when they hit get message, they're gonna be tagged newsletter opt-in. Uh, the green action is do nothing, right? There's nothing hanging off of here. But if they don't do anything after 20 minutes, then I may send them all the way to the back of the flow where I hand them my business card and say, hey, you must've got distracted. Do you want my newsletter? I can loop them back to the subscription and then if they say no, and I can keep looping them each and every time, so every 20 minutes, uh, inside the first 24 hour window initially, because they haven't opted in. So what I'm gonna do here now is my get contact information. So the way I construct my get contact information is again, I use a combination of tags and fields and conditions to figure out what I should be asking them. Uh, the one thing you don't wanna do with somebody is, let's say they're in your bot today, and they gave you a phone number and then down the road they're talking to your bot. You don't want the bot to say, can I get a, a phone number or an email? If they already gave you a phone or email, don't bother them, you know, be polite. So what I do is I have a, is, is entered email. I tag person, uh, the person with, hey, they entered their email. And if it's true, it just goes to the positive. But if they haven't given me an email, then I'm gonna ask them for an email. Now what I'm using here in, the, in chatbot 
is what's called a cust a user input capability. And that's for a pro membership. You have to have a pro account in ManyChat to get use this feature. But with the user input, there's all different types of fields that you can gather on the input. You can get location data, you can get phone numbers, emails. So I'm asking them for a phone number. I'm saying the reply type is phone. And then I like to set these fields here. I'm gonna set the email as a system field and I'm gonna set the opt-in as yes. So that way um, I capture their email. Now, when I come up here, um, uh, if we already know the email, I may say, hey, this email I have on file, is this correct? Yes or no. So if it's yes, they just click yes. And then I'm gonna ask them uh, uh, down here what their, what their uh, phone number is. So as I come over here, um, you'll see, oh, actually before I do that, I'll just show you this section here. This is where once they validated their email, whether they did it the first time, or I said, hey, I have this email, is this correct? And they say yes, um, or they correct it again. I'm gonna enter the tag as uh, email. I'm gonna set my user field. So I have my own field in my ProEdge chatbot to set that field. And then I also use this as a trigger mechanism in Zapier, send buyer to CRM. I have a Zap set up that automatically takes it and I use K KV Core. So the lead coming in here will end up in my KV Core system as a, as a lead to follow up with. And then once they give me phone number and email, I like to also do what's called a mark conversation is open. I'll have a, another video here on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed, but make sure you subscribe because I have some great content this year for realtors out there. Um, and you know, definitely give me a like and try to spread the word here across the YouTube channel. Um, but I'll have a video on my channel with uh, the mobile app is extremely powerful inside of ManyChat and I'll show you exactly how to use it. But all my flows in my ProEdge Chatbot 7 with ChatGBT, um, I, I mark conversations open at different stages of my flows and different channels. So uh, that way, right on the mobile app, you could see the leads talking to the bot and then you could step in, pause the bot's conversation and you now jump in into the conversation with the client. How awesome is that? And you can get really cool data that way. So let's move on. And uh, so once I get that data, I'm gonna thank them and then say, in the meantime, if you need anything, here's my business card. So I usually end most of my flows with uh, sending them my business card. And that's a business card flow that I built in ManyChat that comes with my ProEdge package. Uh, and uh, and then I use, I have another flow and I, I, I showed this in one of my other videos here on the channel. I have a flow that does all the distribution of notifications. So um, based on the tags, it'll say different things to me. So I'll get a text message on my phone that says, hey, Mary Smith, just subscribe to your newsletter. Here's her phone number and email. So now I get that contact information right on my phone. And then I have another zap that takes the many chat and puts it in my address book on my phone. So now when she calls me, she's, a, she's already in my address book. How awesome is that? That's just a great, great capability. But that's it, so that's the main flow. So before I end here, I'm gonna talk about the JSON part. If you want to um, attach this uh, newsletter to a Facebook, Instagram ad, and that's how I grow leads and grow my email list is through advertising, um, you're gonna create another flow. So the requirement of JSON from Facebook side, or I should call Meta now, uh, Meta requires you to have an opt-in from the learn more button. So uh, if you've seen some videos on my channel where I show you how to do Facebook, Instagram ads, and I'll add more this year, uh, more advanced stuff for advertisers uh, coming up in the next couple months. Um, what you do there is you'll have like a learn more button. So they see the, uh, the new newsletter sign up and then there may be a sign up button that's, uh, that they press. This is gonna pop up as the opt-in form. So inside of uh, Facebook, when they click on the ad, on Messenger, this is the first message they're gonna see. So keep up with the time, sign up for our newsletter, stay ahead of the curve with the latest news trends and out. Uh, are you ready to check out the latest uh, lo local newsletter? Yes or oops, not now. So again, you'll see the smarty uh, trick here. If they say oops, not now right from the ad, I dump them right into my business card as well. Um, but if they say yes, I'm good, I tag them the leads from uh, the ad so I know where my marketing is working in all my channels and then I take them right into that newsletter flow to get opt-in permission. So this is how you set things up inside of ManyChat to distribute newsletters, market reports, 
eBooks, and much, much more. So if you want to learn more about chatbot marketing, um, I, you, my business card's down below. I'm happy to get on a call with you. Uh, my calendar's there. Jump on a call with me. I'm here to answer any questions you have. If you're constructing flows and you get stuck, reach out to Smarty. I'm here for you. And let's make this the best year and best decade ever through chatbot marketing. Please subscribe if you haven't and tell your friends about it. I'm looking to grow the channel so more realtors are educated on marketing to grow more leads in their business.